I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what the festival is. It's a transformative journey by women for women. The reason that we celebrate art within the Festival du Femina is to show that the expression of beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So last night we held an art show here with nine artists, all of them generously donating their artwork in support of local charities. Art comes in, in many different forms. Art is an expression of what's coming from within. It's a connector, it connects people. We have music happening, but today it happened to be visual art, which is, is beautiful. The wonderful thing about Nairobi is this is a very international space, and so we have the great benefit of having many different nationalities together in this community, really, of women helping women. I'm a conservation artist. I've always loved wildlife. I've always been out in the bush, and I hope that somehow we can preserve some of that beauty. If people see that there's a beauty, then maybe there's a willingness to change some habits and to preserve it. I feel as a female wildlife photographer, it's great to show the feminism which is connected with the natural world. This festival is really important to us as women, artists, human beings and people living in this country because it celebrates supporting each other, highlighting the issues of women, which are many and we don't have many forums to do that here. All the artists who have given uh, canvases, pictures for uh, the auction are women apart from one, Peter Elungat. I, I think just being able to pour out that love or that feeling is beautiful. And just over on a table there, you'll see a Fabergé egg that's been entirely spun in sugar that's also for auction tonight. It's been donated by Anna, and I wanted to make a special reference to that. This is an interactive event. It's not about uh, looking from the outside. It's participating and being part of something greater than ourselves. We want to make sure every lady in this space will be able to um, take advantage of this beautiful session where we can work on this amazing dynamic piece of art created by ourselves uh, put together by Peter Elungat. There is a painting I call the strokes of love which all of us did. It is an expression of feelings just letting out yourself. We came together to join our hearts for charity And already we have a painting. I don't know, the title of the painting could be The Strokes of Love. It's expressing everything of you, the ugly and beautiful, the bitter and sweet, all on canvas. Hey, I'm just happy to be a part of something bigger than just exhibiting the work for the sake of it. As uh, Maya Angelou said, if you find it in your heart to care for somebody else, you will have succeeded. So I'd just like to share how fantastic it is to be here at the close of the Festival de Femina. Uh, we just had a wonderful closing ceremony because this has been a group effort, a team effort, and it's so wonderful to acknowledge every single participant and facilitator, the extremely uh, warm and generous energy of love that's been here permeating throughout. In a circle, all the ladies came together to say uh, obrigada, asante sana, and thank you in all the languages, and it was really very moving and touching. The energy that flowed was really nice. We healed together, we shed tears together, we hugged together, and we released shame and pain. It was just amazing. This was a really incredible connecting ourselves together in one place and sharing everything together. This is just amazing. Tremendously amazing experience, interacting with genuine feminine energy, um, healing your heart, through music, awakening your feelings. It's been, it's a healing process. But for the next one, please come, please come and heal with us, be with us, grow with us. I think it will be both an honor and a real blessing for Kenyans to have this festival repeated again. We need to hear this again and again from each other. We need to know that we support each other, understand that that's the way for society to go forward. We need to have better families, sisters, friends, workmates women being released so that they can realize how powerful they are and it's a chain reaction and this chain reaction is beautiful because we take the men we take the children we take everybody and that means we have a stronger and better society 
this transformative journey is not just for us as individuals. It's the expression of coming together as a community and helping from the heart to their heart. Thank you.